This is a black gum. Black gum is native to here. In fact, black gum is native to most of Virginia. This is a really tough tree. Uh, black gum can be found growing on sites that are flooded for part of the year. And you can also find black gum growing in some of the driest, nastiest shales the mountains have to offer. Black gum can be an unbelievably slow growing tree. And folks might not realize that this tree can make it to be 600 years old or more. This is one of our older, or can be one of our older trees in the eastern US. Uh, I have seen black gum no larger in diameter than that with 100 growth rings. So it can just hang out in the understory, eking out a living, while the oaks over top of it are the same age. 100 year old oaks over top, 100 year old black gum in the understory. This is a really tough tree. During the summer, black gum really doesn't look like much. It has an oval or egg-shaped leaf, uh, sometimes obovate, that's bigger away from the leaf petiole than it is near the base of the, near the base of the leaf. So really not an interesting leaf. They are a little bit shiny. But the twigs on black gum are very, very distinctive. First, I want you to notice that this thing can branch at 90 degree angles. That's really common in black gum, that 90 degree branching. And the other thing that I want you to notice, these twigs have obvious spur shoots. It's covered in little spur shoots. And to me, they look like little curled up pinky fingers. We can see one here, little curled up pinky fingers all over these branches. If we look closely at the twig, the twigs have buds that are multiple colored. They're usually a three colored bud with a little bit of maroon, a little bit of green, and maybe a little bit of brown in the bud. If we look at the old leaf scars, leaf scars on black gum, this is, a lot of other trees have this, but it's a good confirming characteristic for black gum. The leaf scars on black gum have three vascular bundle scars, three tiny little dots in each leaf scar. And if that's not enough, if we take a knife and we split a twig and we look at the pith, the pith in a black gum is what we call diaphragmed. It's continuous white, but it's separated into little rooms. There's lines across the continuous white pith. 